Alright, hey guys, uh, we're here, uh, OnePlus Armor is gonna play a game of Batman Miniatures game for you. Uh, so Ends today... Up part of Andrew's B-Side series. Part of the B-Side series, I guess we can also say it's part of, uh, the Crits Kill People vlog. They're the ones who sort of got us all into Batman, so we figured we'd give them a shout out. Uh, so today I brought a Batman crew. And Nick, what'd you bring? I brought... Swamp Thing, na na, na na, and Taco Dog, <laughs> Taco Dog Ivy, <laughs> aka Poison Ivy for the Poison Ivy crew, and her flowers. <laughs> she brings flowers to the, the table. They fucking kill. Mm, not so much. Anyway, so we're gonna just go right through it from the beginning. Uh, so first off, we're gonna roll for our scenario. Nick, if you wanna do the honors. I do. Six. Six is ambush. So we each have a uh, 10 centimeter deployment zones. Oh, here it is. This game uses real measurements. Yeah, I know. It's talking about the metric system isn't real. Metric system is real. No. It's Realer so than you can imagine. Okay, so crew B must place an objective marker in each of its deployment zones. So one of us is attacker, one of us is defender. Attacker def uh, deploys in the outside zones, defender deploys in the middle. So I guess we'll just roll off to see who's attacker. So, highest is attacker. I got a three. Alright, I'm on the inside. I'm on the inside, so a 10 centimeter gap in the center. So this is what, 90 centimeters across? Should be. Or close to it. So we should be looking at 35 in. Fucking trying to see where right here. Yeah. Language. Oh, so <laughs> to forty-five, right? Uh, it's it's ten PG thirteen, though. Yeah. Is this right there? No, we're not. There we go. These should be equidistant, right? So That's I think true, that right should there. be up five centimeters, and this back five centimeters. Okay. Do what you gotta do. Choose the fancy words. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Sweet. We figured it out. Oh, that's how that works. Sorry, we did that wrong anyways, but we did it right in the long run. Oh. So the attacker is always the crew with the highest number of models, which is me, have six. Oh, okay. So it works out good. Done good. The attacker splits his crew <coughs> into two equal sized groups and deploys one in each of his deployment zones. The defender then places all of his models in the central zone. So attacker, if you will. Holy. I'm gonna get shot up in here. I only got one gun. Christ. I wish I was playing you. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have Nightwing. And Carl Winslow. Uh, yes. Nightwing. No, Titty Cop and uh, the Veteran Cop. This is sexist. Yeah, we just lost our one female viewer. Yeah. Uh, I guess Sorry, Rachel. Rachel. You knew her by name? <laughs> I was just thinking of uh, friends. So 10 centimeters doctors in. Doctors who aren't doctors. So the two cops are going to go here. You guys won't let that go. You're the one who keeps bringing it up. And Nightwing will be up here in the building. So you deploy both your crew and then I deploy mine? Yeah. Sweet. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to do this round again. Pretty sure we're supposed to roll for everything else first. Oh, like objectives? Yeah. So we, we gotta roll for urban furniture. Urban furniture. Urban furniture. So lights? Yes. You got one light. I got one light. Oh, okay. Well, I can use one of these. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, use the one with the base. That one doesn't stand very So, well. Andrew, can you just quickly point out where each of your things are? So I think there's some stuff that's out of view of the camera. Alright. So we have two cops here. There we go. And Nightwing on this building here. Now we did this backwards. We're supposed to uh, place our lampposts and sewers first. Uh, so we'll just keep that deployment anyways, but we'll do it properly from now on. So you're gonna place a lamp. Where are you gonna put it? You're putting oh, I place first? Ah, sure, why not? All right, I guess I'll put one right here in the open. Okay. And we roll for our sewers. Okay. So you got two, and I have two. So I start? Sure, why not? Is this yours or mine? Doesn't matter. Mine's right here. Alright, um... 
I'm just gonna do a quick cut here. All right, so then I'll put a sewer right here in the graveyard. And I'll put one uh, over here. Uh, hold on, where? Yeah, right there. And I'll throw one here next to the Batmobile. Damn Batmobile. Which right. has both its wheels. Well, yeah. all four. Now we deploy our crews. All right. So Nightwing and his boys here, Batman, Agent Ron, and Carl Winslow from Family Matters will deploy in the other deployments. If only it was actually Carl Winslow. The model is basically Carl Winslow from Family Matters. <laughs> if we can get that in the shot, here he is here. <laughs> Move it back a little bit. There you go. You see him? Yeah, that's the... Uh, I need to just put something behind it. There you go. It's Carl Winslow. We all know who it is. <laughs> so I gotta pull 10 centimeters in. That means Batman's gotta be on the ground. Yes! And you'll have two cops as cover. Because he doesn't care about the meat shields. I, uh. I didn't bring mine up. Okay. So now I guess I deploy my whole crew. Your whole crew. Yours is special though, because you got your plants, right? Oh, yeah. Alright, my plants deploy when I choose to activate them, except I have to put little seed markers for each, two for each plant. And that's the only area that they can deploy and they get a 10 centimeter radius. So I'll start by placing... So last time I played, uh, Nightwing totally ROFL stomped Swamp Thing. So I'm going to keep him out of there. And I will put Swamp Thing over here. And then Ivy... I'm running the... I have the, the Poison Ivy model, but I'll run the... The Arkham Asylum? The, yeah, the Arkham Asylum Ivy. Because uh, I don't have any, because just to fill up rep. Uh, rep, right? That's what it's called? Yeah. Okay. Basically, your points that you spend to build your crew. Cool. Um, so she'll she'll chill with the Swamp Thing, her bodyguard. All right. Love her. Um, oh my. <laughs> that's awkward. Yeah. Then I will start placing. Uh, my uh, now I'm gonna place my plants. So that will be A. So um, oh, do we have to place objectives now? Uh, we do it after our crew deploys. So I guess you oh. place your counters. Yeah, I guess I to place my counters. I will point out to the viewers that I have no idea how to play this game. I have no idea how to play this game. Excellent. <laughs> Is there any advantage to being on top of shit? Uh, yeah, you have a height bonus, so your defense is <coughs> plus one. Shit. Oh, let's do this. Mr. Handy J here. I'm going to do something like that. Alright, so then we place our objectives. So I picked the Riddle, which is a random amount of victory points. You roll a d6, and depending on what you get, you can either get 3, 1, nothing, or minus 1 victory points. <laughs> and that comes in a pair of 2. And then I have a Titan. Uh, so I can pick this up. Well, I can take uh, Titan doses off of it, uh, and it you guys can get like a 1 round boost. Uh, and if you're holding it, uh, it's worth three victory points, or sorry, two victory points, and then I have ammo. So guys with guns can reload their weapons if they've shot. Uh, and it's worth three victory points if you are in control of it. So, I guess I'll place first. Nick, would you pick? Um, loot, ammo, and titan. Alright, 
So, loot is worth one victory point if you're controlling it, and it's the only uh, objective that you can actually pick up and move around the board with you. The rest have to stay where they're placed. So I'm going to place the Titan first. Where can they be placed? Uh, so Titan and ammo have to be placed in your uh, enemy's deployment zone. Loot can be placed anywhere on the board, uh, outside of 10 centimeters of one of your models, and riddles are the same. They can be placed anywhere, uh, but they do have to be outside 10 centimeters of your deployment zone. Sorry, not models. Oh, okay. So, uh, like I said, I'll do Titan first. I'll throw it right by this statue. I'll place my loot. It can be in one of, or it can be anywhere. Uh, and Can it be inside my deployment zone? Yes, I think so. So like this? Yeah, I think that's fair. Alright. Uh, one thing to note, objectives do have to always be on the ground floor. They can't be elevated. Uh, just so people... Can flowers pick up ammo? I don't believe so. Cause um, can, you, can you manipulate objects? I don't know. Alright. We'll look that up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'll place my riddles. So one will go actually right here. And the other one will go... They can't manipulate, so I guess not. So, no, they can't pick up ammo. The other one will go right there, 10 centimeters away. And then you can place your last one, and then I'll place my ammo. Oh, yeah, I'm only on my second one. My Titan. I'll put my Titan there. Or no, 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 no let's, put it, let's put it here. Titan has to go in one of my deployment zones. Shit. My, my, my deployment zone is 10 centimeters. And it doesn't have to be right in my face. Like, my, my, my whole deployment zone is this line, right? This is stressful. Sorry, Nick. I'm never going to get it. All right. Then the ammo I'll put right here. So, knowing now that I can't manipulate objects, there's really not much reason for me to have ammo. So I'll put it over here. It is worth three victory points if you're holding it regardless. So. Okay. Ivy can go sit on it. Nothing really kinky. Alright, so we've deployed, uh, so then we decide who goes first. So this is an eight round game. Oh cool. So we each put four dice into a opaque bag. Takes the one you can't see through, right? Purple. And I'm green. Then we mix it up. So basically there's alternating uh, who goes first. Uh, and each time we pull one out, it's a turn, and who goes first in that. So Nick, if you want to go first, pick a pick a dice. Sweet. Oh. Green. So I'll be moving my guys first and activating. So I guess we can come back after uh, we've each assigned our willpower dice. Sounds good. See you soon. All right. So we've assigned our actions. So how that works is. Uh, Every model has a willpower value, and that's how many counters you can assign to a certain uh, stat. So the stats are movement, attack, defense, and uh, special. You can't assign dice to endurance it's for something else. Um, so because I'm activating first, I assign all my counters, and then Nick can see what I've done and react to that because he's going second. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go first. Um, now we'll activate Agent O'Connell, who's standing behind this building. He's going to use a move and a special to run. And we've lost the tape measure. Oh, there it is. So a run move is double your uh, movement. So 20 centimeters because everyone has a base movement of 10. So he's going to run to here. And he put an extra dice into movement. So that's an extra D6 of centimeter movement of a big one. Does he have a gun? Uh, he has a taser. So it's a range 3 centimeters because it has reach, close combat weapon essentially. Oh, okay. So he's activated, you can go now. <coughs> I will pass. Oh, okay. So because Nick has uh, fewer models on the board than I do, he gets an equal number of passes uh, to how much I outnumber him. So right now I have six models, he has two. So he has four passes he can do and wait for me to do stuff. Uh, but I can't pass more than twice in a row. Correct. Uh, so next up, I guess, uh, Stripper Cop will go. Named because she is dressed inappropriately for a police officer. She will also run uh, 20 centimeters. 
hanging out with Agent Ron here, or O'Connell. And she will also spend one dice of movement for a big five. That's a little better. Which will take her here. And that's it for her. What's S range? Short range is 20 centimeters. Ah, I see. And you could do uh, a let's go trait and you could cop some of that? They do, but I'm not going to use it because there's no one around to use it right now. To use a shooting attack, you need how many? Two attack dice? Two attack dice. Alright, um, Swamp Thing will activate. He'll use two movement dice to move. Alright. So you add that to your base movement of 10. Well, no, because he's going to run after. Oh, cool. He's a large, too, so it's 12. So you should only roll one dice, because a, a run is a move and a special. Shit. So we'll just say you got the six, and then you can run. Well, I won't be able to run. Can I run across this? No. Oh. You can't tra traverse obstacles. Oh, okay. I'll just do that without running. Okay. So 19 centimeters? Uh, well, oh, plus 21, 12. 21, right? Yeah, 21, sorry. So... And you can go right over it, too. Oh, really? Yeah, because you just... It's not like a... Well, it would be considered difficult. It wouldn't be considered difficult or something? I guess it would, so half of it. Yeah, it'd be happening as soon as you get to it. Well, it was right on it. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, just go around it, I guess. Yeah, there you go. So I'd end up like here. Perfect. So, I'm short range and well out of short range. Right. Uh, and... 9, 7, and 20. Nope. All right. That's Swamp Thing. All right, so I guess the big Batman's gonna go. He's gonna use a move and a special to run. Yeah. Directly at this riddle behind the building. Then he's gonna spend a movement dice to manipulate it. So how the riddle works is I roll a d6 and see what happens. So I rolled a one. So right now that would be minus one victory points. Uh, Batman has a special rule called Detective. It allows him to re-roll the riddle result, which I get a two. So that means no victory points, Ouch. and the riddle disappears. Basically, on a, a one, it's minus one. Two, three, it's nothing. Four, five is one victory point, and on a six, it's three victory points. Ivy will activate. All right. She will use uh, two movement dies. She's going seven plus ten, so that's more than enough to hit the loot. Yep. Uh, I guess she'll go on like this side because she had seventeen is more than enough. Sure. And then she'll spend a movement to pick up the loot. Pick up the loot. Perfect. So Ivy's got loot. Alright, so Nightwing's gonna go. He's just gonna use a movement a special to run. 20 centimeters. Oh, let's see. It would take me to right here. That's Nightwing. And I have no more, so it's all up to you. Alright. So, uh, Carl's gonna run. And then spend a movement of special. Or to run, sorry. To go farther. I know how to talk right now. Most talky. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that all straight into movement. He's gonna go here. Agent Ron's gonna do the same, but he's gonna try to move first. Four centimeters. It's probably not gonna work. Uh, and then I guess I'll just use my basic movement up to. Alright, so that's the end of the turn. Uh, so now we would go into the recovery phase, and that's where you can re regain lost wounds. Uh, but no one's been hurt, so we just go right into the part where we collect our points. So I have no objectives, and I didn't get anything off my riddle, so I have nothing. Nick has his uh, loot, so he gets one victory point for holding his loot. 
Sweet. So I'm winning. You're winning right now. And now we'll go see who starts next turn. And it's me again. Alright. So we'll be back after these messages. We'll be Alright, so we're back for activation. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. <laughs> so first of all, Carl Winslow, he's going to use one dice to move. A big four. Here, he's going to use a move and a special to run and get to the ammo. And that's it for him. So Nick can either choose to pass or activate one of his models or bring in one of his plants. I'll bring in my plant. Alright. The boss. The boss plant? The boss plant. Alright. And now that plant will shoot at Carl Winslow. What? Um, so it's a spore sheath. Could be the spore sheath. A spore sheath view. Uh, so I guess I roll your defense. Yep, so my defense on Carl is three, so you need threes to hit me. Two dice, they both miss. Wow, piece of shit. Carl is one lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> On the lucky duck. That's what he just. <laughs> We've all been having beers and pizza, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, Alright, so now it's your turn. Thank <laughs> God for windows. Nightwing's gonna go. He's gonna spend a dice of movement. Enough to get me right to the edge here. Oh, shit. And then he's going to use a move and a special to use the back claw. So if you watch the shows, that's their little grappling hook that they have. Do you have the tape measure? And that allows you 30 centimeters of movement across. Um, you can either go, it has to be at least uh, 10 centimeters up or down or across a 10 centimeter gap. So I'm going to go and try to get right to Swamp Thing, which I cannot, but I can get this close. So that kind of screwed me. Uh, and then he's stuck. <clears throat> Swamp Thing will activate. Yeah, I thought so. Um, oh, but he only put two in attack. I only have one in defense, so... But does he have special roots? Uh, can't do it. Anyway. He'll move up. Yep. And he will put two attack into... Nightwing? Nightwing. So my defense on Nightwing is four, so you need fours to hit me. Two hits. Two hits. I only have one in defense, so I'll roll it. And I need to match your attack value, which is? A uh, four. I need to roll a four to stop a hit. I do not, so I take... Uh, I need to roll my strength. Your strength is two, so you wound on two plus. Oh. And a collateral dice. Of course I roll a one. Nice, so do some damage. The collateral is nothing. So oh, I take a stun and a blood. One stun damage and one blood damage. There's the black base. Or the white works. Stun damage. Alright, so now that I've taken two damage on him, uh, I lose another dice, so I guess it'll just come out of attack. Basically for every two damage you take, uh, your willpower drops by one. As you get beat up, you're not as good, I guess. <laughs> So that's your turn. Alright. So I think Batman will go. Oh, I did do that right. Tape measure. Oh, oh I didn't. Alright, so Batman's going to use a move and a special to Bat Claw. 30 centimeters. Right to this edge. And then he's going to use two dice to throw uh, batarangs, which are. I can only see 30 centimeters. So I can see here. So I'm going to throw batarangs at uh, poison ivy. So okay. it's rate of fire two, so I roll two dice. Um, what's your defense on ivy? Uh, four. So I need fours to hit. Ooh. I get one hit. 
Uh, are you agile? Mm. Nope. Alright, so it's a hit. I'm strength 3, and because it's a throwing weapon, I use my base strength. So I wound, and the collateral dice. Ooh. So it, it does an extra stun, and she's knocked down. So three stun total. She takes three stun. And I guess I can just use this. Oh, okay. That's what I would do. One. Oh, I guess we can just do this three. Yeah, bud. Um, and then she's knocked down. And she loses a die, right? Yeah, because she took at least two damage. We'll that on the back. All right. I will pass. All right. Um, TD Cop will go, she'll add two dice to her movement, eight plus her base of ten, eighteen centimeters, so we'll just come towards you. I will pass. Alright, uh, Agent O'Connell will go. Where is he? No, he's here. Right. Oh, it's this guy. Uh, he will use a move and a special to run. Not 20. Let's see here. And use an extra dice to move a little farther. Oh, we're a lot farther. So he moves an extra six. That's over to you. Ivy, well, so she can spend one die to get up? Yeah, out of any, ca one counter out of any area. Okay, she'll take it out of her defense. Alright. She'll stand up. And then, she can... Okay, she will run. So how do you run? A move in a special? Correct. Shit, I don't want to do that. Where is he? Can I pre-measure? Yes, you can pre-measure anything. I believe. Alright, she's 12 away. She'll spend a move. So, she gets it. Just enough. Alright. Into Carl Winslow. Correct. Then she will at um, attempt her mortal kiss. Alright. She'll try to grab him. Alright, so that's uh, cost one special to you? That's two special for mortal kiss. Uh, well, we'll just see. What? Oh, I needed a special to, to grab and then mortal kiss. What? Okay. Um, uh, is there a way to? Does she have veteran? No. Uh, How do I? Uh, oh, and control pheromones is three special. That's okay. I can use them later for right. regenerate or. You know. Sure. So when so, attacking a curl. When attacking a curl. He's defense four, or defense three, so you hit him, and I have no dice in defense, so what do you do to me? Oh no, I should have done sprinkling spores. Can you do that if you move? Is it a shooting attack? Uh, rate of fire one, ammo infinity, poison, toxic, expansive. Yeah, so, jeez. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Okay. And it's like a big template, is it not? The expansive template is right here in the book. Shit, so it's like... 20 centimeters. Yeah. But it's, well, I don't think I would get. But you'd get all three of these guys for sure. Okay. So, do it up. So, how does that work? So, uh, they're all hit. Okay. Uh, what does it do to me? Poison, toxic blood, and expansive. So, enamel rate of fire. So it would be a weapon trait, so we'll just have to look this up. Sorry, we are new to this game, so we're probably going to be looking up a lot of things in this. Uh, this is a neat ability that we haven't seen yet. So target instantly seizes X number of damage and of blood markers. So what's the number? It says toxic blood. Poison, toxic blood. And enervating? Where do you see enervating? I don't know. What's the bottom one? Expansive. Oh. That was the template, I think. Oh, 
Oh, so they're all poisoned? They all take a blood damage. Really? Yep. Yeah, that's gross. So she doesn't have to roll for it? No, because you already rolled the hit, and... Oh, okay. I s Do you have to roll for each individual one, though? Uh... Probably. Enervating immediately loses X action kind of It's not enervating. Right, so right. Poison. Expansive. So characters affected by poison place a poison marker next to him and resolve the poison effects immediately. These will be listed on the on the attacker's character card, so the toxic blood. And toxic is just target instantly receives X number of damage markers in blood damage. So it looks like it's just one. So I assume they all just get the blood. Oh, okay. So who is that? Titty Cop, one blood. And they're poisoned too, right? So. Yeah, so I have to try to stop the poison or it keeps happening. Cool. Uh, Carl gets one, and O'Connell gets one. And okay. the environment gets one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm done now, so I guess you have Ron left. Ron's gonna go, he's gonna run. He's two days out of retirement. Two days out of retirement, Ron. Uh, do you have the tape measure? Is it enough to get me there? Yes. So I'm going to go right to the... Riddle? Riddle? The, the side of the riddle? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to use one movement dice to try to solve it. A two, so it's nothing, and the riddle's gone. Good old riddles. So I think we're done. So that's the end of the turn. Alright, so recovery phase. Uh, I have one stun damage on Dam uh, Nightwing. So everyone gets one dice for free to try to resolve stun damage. You can't res uh, you can't heal blood damage, but you can heal stuns. On a 4+, plus, you lose a stun damage. So Nightwing does not. Poison Ivy, she gets one plus or two special. Yeah, so if you have special dice left over, you can use those as extra rolls. So Poison Ivy recovers one stun. Uh, as for objectives, uh, I have none. Oh no, she didn't spend a move. I had an extra move though. Could I spend that now? We'll just say you spent it to keep hold of your loot. Yes. Um, I was about to get points, but because he has a character in base contact with someone on my objective, he's negating my ability to pick up. Do you negate my ability to... No, nope, because you're like... Holding it's onto it? Loot's different because you're holding it. Yeah. Cool. So you're good, but I do not get any victory points. Alright. So, I guess we'll reach in the bag and see who goes next. I pulled last time, so over to you. Ooh. You get to go first, and we'll be back after we assign. After these messages. Alright, so we're back for the beginning of Nick's turn. Alright, how many uh, defense do you have in Nightwing? Just one. Alright. He will try, use two special to cause a root. So, a model line of sight within 20 cent, uh, centimeters must pass an agility roll or become pinned. On does pin affect anybody being in close combat? Uh, yeah. So the effects of pin would be um, it cannot move or spend movement counters, and its attack will be reduced by one until the effect is canceled. So basically, I lose an attack and I can't move. I'm stuck in place. Um, actually, then I'll, I'll target O'Connell with that. Sure. So you have to roll an agility roll, and if you fail it, you're pinned. Alright, so Agent O'Connell is, uh, movement two, so his, to pass an agility roll for him, it would be two or less. Which I do not get, so he is stuck in place. Sweet. And now, he will use three to attack Nightwing. Alright. So, Nightwing's defense four, so you need fours to hit me. Oh, I got two. Alright. Uh, Nightwing put one into defense, so I'll try to stop you. My attack is four. So I do not stop you. Okay. This could be bad. And on twos, with my... Christ. <laughs> it's a six. Alright, so Nightwing takes... Uh, Three blood and two, uh, three stun and two blood. Yep. So, I'm up to four stun, two blood. And he's knocked down. And I'm knocked down. Uh, 
Um, and I lose two dice, so I'll take one out of special and one out of attack, I guess. Uh, it's yours. Alright, so Agent Ron's gonna activate. He's gonna spend uh, two attack to shoot Poison Ivy. Shit. Uh, I believe I'm in range and I can see you. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm a vision, sorry. Vision of 30 centimeters, so I should be good. And a short range weapon, so range 20. Yep. So we're good. Alright, so his rate of fire is two on his gun. No, it isn't. It's three. Oh, crap. What's your defense? Uh, four. So I shoot three dice. I need looking for fours. Oh, fuck. They all hit, and because it's a firearm, they wound on twos. Uh, so, two and a collateral of nothing. So she takes four blood? No, uh, two blood and two stun. Uh, bullets will do for my guns at least, one blood and one stun. Okay, two blood and two stun. So that's two more dice she loses. And then Agent Ron's going to run. The fuck out of here. He's done his job. He's going to go check out this Titan. Okay. Alright. Um, does Carl have a gun? Or Ron's the only gun? Ron's the only gun I have. Okay. Um... Alright, Ivy will activate. Alright. She will move around Carl Winslow. Okay. Can she do this? Yep. Um, and then she will use three special to try her mortal kiss with two attack. Sure. So what's your defense? My defense on Ron or Carl is three, so you need three. To hit me. One? One hit, my defense, I have two dice. So my attack's three, so... Yeah, so I stop your attack. Shit. It's alright. Alright, and that's it. Alright, so Ron's gonna activate. So, uh, because he's just activated, I have to check for the poison. Uh, so I need to roll an endurance you roll. You mean Carl's gonna activate? Yeah, sorry, Carl. I, so he's gonna check for his poison, I have to pass an endurance roll to stop it, or I take another blood. I'm endurance four, on two dice. He completely fails, so he takes another blood. So he's up to two blood, and because he's taking two damage, he drops a dice. So he has one in attack, he'll try to hit Ivy with her. He does. Do yep. you have any in defense? Nope. Alright, so uh, he's strength five, so I need a five to wound. Which I don't get. Sweet. So, okay. Your plant can go, or you can pass. Okay, my plant will come up. Go oh, here. Oh boy. We'll attack Carl. Okay. Um, then the other one was here. You can't push, eh? Yeah, you can. Cost a special, and your attacks have push. So you can actually push me off a bit. My attacks have push? How do you know that? Uh, you don't have to have the rule push. You can spend a special to make your attacks push. And then how does that work after? So it's the same as a grab. So I'm pushed back three centimeters. So you can push oh, me. Oh, but if you have a specially a back cape and you can... I can. He can, but like other guys wouldn't be able to. Okay, so it's no sense on doing on Batman. Not right now, because I do have a special. Yeah, and you would just save yourself. <laughs> okay, so this guy will uh, attack... Um, Nightwing's activated already? Uh, not yet. No, but he's got one attack? I will, because I have to, I'm knocked down right now, so I'll have to spend one of my attacks to get up, and okay. then I'll only have one attack. And then, who's got, Carl's got the most damage on him right now? Uh, right now, Nightwing does. He's up to six oh. damage. If he takes one more, he's knocked out. Oh, let's do that, actually. Uh, Carl needs two more damage, and he's knocked out. Okay, we'll throw it in Nightwing. Okay. So, we'll do three, hitting on, in, what, it's probably defense five? Defense four. Okay, uh, handy, actually, so. So he has a special rule handy, it allows him to reroll failed. So, so you got two in. Yep. 
Actually, you hit me on twos because I'm knocked down, and my defense drops to two. Okay, then that would have All three would have hit. All three would have hit. <clears throat> and then I have strength four, and that doesn't improve because you're knocked down. Right. It's just whatever it is. So you got one. And a crit. Oh, I roll it. Alright, so. Uh, so that's a stun in a blood. Plus, so two stuns and one blood because of the crit. Alright, so the one blood uh, knocks me out, and then the other stun will be a blood. So I'm up to four bloods and three stuns. Oh, Ivy didn't spend a move, so she drops the loot. So, wait, I would have got a point from last turn. Yep. And then I knock him out, so I get what, three? He's a sidekick, so you get two points. So four, okay. <clears throat> so he's knocked out. It's the KO. So that means he loses all of his dice and can't get back up. All right, it's your turn now. All right, so Titty Cop will go. She's activating, so she too has to test. She's endurance four, so I need to roll four or less, or she takes another blood and can take stays Whoa. poisoned. So she fails, she takes another blood, loses a dice, I'm taking out of movement. And she's going to go fight Swamp Thing, so she's going to spend a move dice to move. Two centimeters, might not make it. Wait. Base move ten, yeah, I might. You probably will. Uh, yeah, looks like it. No, I don't. I'm just out, because I have to not touch my own models. So I get to here. So, Titty Cop's done. All I have left is shooty plant. Alright. Fuck. This is the worst. Shooty plant will sh two shots into Carl. Alright. Hitting on. What's your defense? Uh, his defense is three. So two hits. There's nothing I can do to stop you because it's a shooting attack and I don't have agility. And a mechanic, so it's on a three? Yep, so you have the special room mechanic holy. So you move on a three. Holy crap, I'm rolling non-stop. Non-stop sixes, so how much damage is that? Uh it's two each, so two five. So two blood and two stun? Uh well no, it's two stun each. Oh, okay. So I take So does the first two stun knock you out? First two stun knock me out. And then the other two con then the other two successful ones convert into blood? No. We were playing that wrong last time. Oh. Uh, so now that I'm knocked out, any other stuns I take now will be turned to blood, but all attacks are resolved at the same time. So he wouldn't be able to do it, mm -hmm. but the next guy would be. Okay. Uh, he is knocked out, so you do get another victory point, though. Sweet. So Carl's down. Um, I guess O'Connell will try to activate, even though he's locked down. So he's going to spend two dice to check his poison. He fails two. No, yes he does. So he takes a blood. Oh, we got a visitor. Drops a dice out of defense. And uh, he's pinned because of the roots you did. So mm -hmm. he's just going to stand. Uh, actually, he's going to attack this plant here. So he has uh, oh, the taser, yeah. he has a taser. It has the reach special rule. So he can attack within three centimeters. Okay. You put two into attack. So he'll do it. Uh, what's the defense? On the plant is three. Alright, so I get one hit. Do you have any defense dice? Two. Alright, my attack is three, so you need threes to stop me. Ooh. So you stop my one hit. And that's him. Uh, last up is Batman. Do you have anyone else? Nope, it's all you. Alright, what the hell is Batman going to do? Save the day, I assume. Oh, hold on. I put stuff into him. So I could. I think you activated him. Because you pulled this plant token off. Yeah, because it was one of these guys. Him, he's oh, okay. T, so he should go here or here. So he's going to be useless for the game. Well, yeah, range 10. So useless. <laughs> um, I'll go in here. Alright. And he's going to do nothing. Cool. Now I'll go Batman. Alright, so Batman's going to go. Uh, because he's the Batman, he's going to use a move and a special to Batclaw. Batclaw, because I'm Batman. Because I'm Batman. Fuck. I'm going to Ivy. So he's going to jump down here. 
try to get some revenge for Nightwing. He's going to use a movement to move. Three. Enough to get me into Swamp Thing. And I pump two into attack. So I'm going to roll him. Uh, what's your defense? Three. So I hit on threes. Got me one hit. Got three defense dice. My attack is five. And Ooh. you super stop me. Yep. Swamp Thing will hear none of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh... That's all my activations. What about you? Same here. We're all activated. Alright, so uh, first we'll get our points. So I'm in the game this time. I have a guy on Titan who is not contested, so I get two bonus points. Or victory points. Okay, and I already collected mine from knocking out Nightwing and Carl. Perfect. So now we're going to recovery. Uh, Nightwing's going to try to get up. So to recover from a knockout, you need to roll uh, your endurance or less uh, on 2d6. Which I do. So I get back up, I recover a stun. And he's back in the game. Poison Ivy, we'll see if she can recover. Nope. Uh, any more stuns on me? Oh, Carl can try to get back up too. So he's endurance four, probably not gonna happen. Nope, he's staying down. Alright, so we'll draw from the bag. You drew last time, so it's over to me. Come on, Come on green. Yeah, ah. so I get to go first. And we'll be back after. Alright, and we're back. So, beginning of my turn. Um, who's going to activate? The Batman's going to activate. He's going to put some shots in the Swamp Thing. Okay. He put three into attack. So I'm going to do it. Um, now... Because I have you outnumbered, your defense has dropped by one. Shit. So I'm hitting you on twos, I believe. Yep. Three hits. I put three into defense, so on fives. On fives. Ooh, so just up one. And now I'm tough skin. Alright. So, so you're minus one to wound. Minus one to my wound, so I'm strength three normally, so I wound you on fours now. So nothing. Batman whiffs his attack. Sweet. Swamp Thing's the man. He appears to be. Alright, uh, Ivy will activate. Alright. She will. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, she will. She will move. Ten. Okay. She will use. Uh, one of her special. Chlorokinesis. Which means she can uh, go f uh, anywhere within a plant's a activation zone. Yep. So. Oh no, because then you'll just back claw and push me off. No. So then she'll go here and save herself. Alright. Uh, so you have one dice in movement. Did you use that to pick up this loot that was beside you? Yes, I did. Alright, so you take that with you. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> Carl's down for the count, so I will go with Nightwing. Shit. So he put three into attack, he has a special rule called combo, so for every two dice you put into attack you get one extra, so I have four attacks. Swamp Thing's in shit. He's hitting on twos because I have you outnumbered. Oh, uh, that was handy. I rolled two ones, he does have the handy special rule, so he rerolls his failed hits. And he gets, so everything hits. Mm, Swamp Thing can do nothing right now. Now I have the mechanic rule, so normally I would hit on threes, but his tough skin bumps him back up to hit it, wounding on fours. Yeah. So I got two wounds, and my collateral dice is over here. Ooh. So, doesn't matter, you can't knock down a, lo a large target, so you just ignore that, but I do put uh, oh. four stuns in you. Okay, so he takes four stun. Uh, then he'll lose two dice as a result. Alright. He'll take them out of special. Okay. Um, ba -da 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 -da. So what would happen now if he attacks Nightwing? It, could it only ever cause one blood? Like, yeah, because it would be the one blood that takes me out. 
So how many blood do you have on you right now? I have four blood on me, and I'm endurance seven, so I need three more bloods to be killed. So three separate guys would have to attack you? Well, how, how much damage do you do? I do a blood and a stun, each one. So if you get three successful hits, that would be three bloods. That would kill me. And Batman's already activated? He's already activated. He has four in defense and one in special, and I do have counterattack. So for every successful uh, defense die I, I make, I, it's an automatic hit on you. Okay, he will activate and hit Nightwing. Nightwing, so defense four. Ooh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, one. So you got one, I can't stop you, I have nothing in defense. Okay. So you want me on twos. Brutal. He rolled a one. Uh, that's not good. Oh well. So that's Swamp Thing. Alright, so Titty Cop's gonna activate, so first I gotta resolve her poison. Die, die, die. Uh, she's Endurance 4, so I need to roll less than that to heal the poison. Yes. Which I do not, so I take another blood, she's up to 3. And her Endurance is 4. She's got one more left and she's out. Uh, she's gonna move up to oh, Swamp she Thing. Her. She only has one dice in attack, so she'll do it. Uh, she's defensive and handy, so that won't help me. Your defense too, though. So I hit. And strength five. So six. And he just... Oh! I rolled a six! He rolls a six. Uh, collateral dice. Uh, it won't matter, unless I roll a six, which will be an extra stun. Just roll this. No. So, just one stun. So I'm at five stun. She'll be dead next turn. <laughs> This poison's killing me. Alright, this guy here hasn't activated? Not yet. And what's his, uh, how many, he's got two blood on him right now? He's got two blood on him, he's endurance six, uh, he's got three in attack, endurance and six. He's, he's the veteran cop. Alright, Creeper? He's seen a lot of shit in his days. <laughs> I've seen shit. Creeper will attack him. Alright, he's defense three. Okay. I'm handy. Alright, roll him up. Yep, it's all hits. I put one in defense. So okay. what's your attack? Uh, three. Ooh. Uh, nothing. So they all hit. So strength four. That was a four. So, whoops. Two. So that's two blood and two stun because of claws. Jesus. And really collateral. Oh yeah. Nothing. All right, four blood, two stun. That puts him out. So he's knocked out. You get a victory point for that. Is this KO? Yes it is. And you lose all your dice? And he loses all of his dice. Sweet. That one's still up, so he doesn't need that anymore. Um, oh, running out of people. Uh, so Batman's gone. Titty Cop's gone. Uh, Ron will activate. And he's done. No, mm -hmm. he's, he's not going anywhere. He's going to camp. Ah! He's going to actually spend a movement to pick up a Titan dose, and then I will just sort of hide behind here. Okay. Which won't really help me, but whatever. So who was poisoned? Him? No, him? Carl Winslow? Carl Winslow, who's knocked out, and this guy's Does knocked. he still have to roll an agility roll? I don't know. It says when they activate, and he's, yeah. he's just knocked out. I guess not. And uh, Titty Cop is... Steve, calm down. All don't right. I know, buddy. Carl Winslow's knocked out. That guy's knocked out. What does Batman have? For defense. He's defense 5, he has 4 dice in defense right now. But I can shoot at him because I have this point. Oh yeah, for sure. You'd hit him on 2s. Oh, I'd hit him on 2s? Oh, sorry, you'd hit him on 5s because my defense is 5. Actually, can you shoot at Carl? Or not, Ron? Yep. Okay. Shoot at Ron, hitting on... Uh, Ron is defense 3, so you hit me on 3s. Got one hit. Yep. I can't stop you. Okay, so I'm gonna wound on three. That's a wound. So oh. what what damage do I take? Collateral. It's nothing. That's nothing, eh? Nothing. It has to be equal to What uh, happens if it's a six and a six? So I would be knocked down mm -hmm. and then I'd take an extra stun. Okay. So how much damage do I take? You take two stun. Two stuns on Ron. And he loses a dice, so I guess I'll just Take it out of movement, doesn't really matter. Oh, actually it does, because the rest of his are in special. So everyone for me is activated, what about you? Same here. Alright, so we get in the recap phase. Oh, well, this guy activates, but he can't do anything. 
Alright. Steve the bull. God damn it, Steve, you're like a bull in a china shop. Alright, uh, so recovery phase, Ron will recover first. He has three in special, and he gets his one free one. So four dice, hope they can recover those two friends. Uh, I recover one of them. Wow. Ivy. No, and Swamp Thing. Yes. Swamp Thing recovers. Alright, who else? Nightwing will try to recover one. He does not. Uh, Agent O'Connell will try to get back up. He's enduring six. He does. Uh, Carl will try to get back up. He does! Jesus Christ. Crazy. Uh, who else? So, Connell recovers a stun. Carl recovers a stun. Everyone else is taking blood. Alright, so, uh, your turn to pull the dice. Alright. Rip my bag. It's over to you. Alright, so we'll be back after we set our dice up. Alright, so we're back. Uh, Nick goes first, so he can go first or pass. Okay, I'll go first. Which one of your cops here has uh, attack dice? Uh, Agent O'Connell. And that's it. Alright, uh, Poison Ivy will use one for Chlorokinesis. She'll go out 10 centimeters here. Oh boy. Alright. And not quite yet, but she'll move up a centimeter to be within 10 of Agent O'Connell. Alright. And spend three on, uh, what's it called? Control pheromones. Alright, so how that works is I'm hit automatically and I have to uh, pass a willpower roll or I'm hypnotized. Basically, my model becomes Nyx for this turn. Uh, my endurance is six, or sorry, my willpower is five, so I need a five or less. Oh. Which I just get on a five. Son of a gun. Alright, your okay. activation now. Alright. Uh, now, <laughs> Ivy's out in the open. Yeah, so O'Connell's gonna go. Uh, he's gonna throw his attacks into that plant beside him. He has range three with his taser, so he's just gonna stay where he is. Okay. Uh, what's your defense on the, the thingy? Creeper's defense is three. Alright. So I need three is a hit. I got two. I had two defense dice. Alright, my attack is three. So you right. stop one of them. Yep. I have the mechanic rules, so my, I always wound on a three. Which I do. And my collateral is nothing. So um, what's that? So it would be two stun. And I lose a die. Alright. Swamp Thing will activate. Oh, sorry. He was poisoned. I should check that to you. Um, during six on him. He passes, so he's no longer poisoned. Lucky bugger. Swamp Thing will activate and... We'll move here. Nice. We'll put all of his attacks into her. Teacup, alright. What's her uh, defense? Three. Right. Uh, nice and defense. So three hits. Three hits. And you move me on twos. It's a two ones and a two. So that's a blood and a stun, right? Yeah, and a collateral. So she's up to four blood and a stun, and that is more than her endurance in bloods, so she dies. Sweet. So you get two victory points for her, because knockout and then removing her from the game. Okay, so I'm at three here. Um, and then he will use a special to regenerate one of his injuries. Alright. So he's at three stun. Right. Sounds good. Uh, I guess Nightwing will go. He's just going to move over to Big Papa here. You put three into attack. I get one more because of combo. Okay. Hitting you on threes now because you got a defense back. And I am a handy. Shit. 
So, all hits. You're gonna punk me. I have nothing. Okay. Or one defense, actually. One defense. Attack four, so you stop one of mine. Sweet, that could mean, that could be a big difference. Yeah. Normally I would wound on threes, but because you're tough skin, fours. Oh. Nothing. Nothing at all. He whiffed all of his attacks. Swamp Thing is lucky. <laughs> oh, so lucky. Oh. Alright, so who's activated so far? Uh, Nightwing. Nightwing. O'Connell. O'Connell, because he just covered it. Yeah, tried to attack that, and that's it. Carl hasn't activated? Not yet. How does he get knocked down again? Like, I basically have to kill him now? Uh, he can be knocked out with one more stun. Okay. Or blood. One more damage in general. Two attacks from Creeper. Okay. Into him. Sounds good. What's your defense? Three. And I'm handy. Alright, I put three in no offense with Carl. Shit. I'm attack three, so. So I need three to stop, yeah. I stop two. Yep. So that'll be all of them. Yep. Uh. Good I guess Carl will activate, see if the poison takes him out. Let's do it. Come on. Durance four. He already got up once. Woo! No. So he's he's knocked back out. Taking one more blood. He's always like, ooh. Um, he's almost dead. Just needs one more blood and he's out of here. Alright, so Batman's basically gone, right? Not yet. Or no, but he's the last one for you to go, him and Ron. Ron can go, but you know he's not going anywhere. Yeah. Um What's Nightwing up to? What's his like? Does he have defense or anything? Like no, he's he's so hurt. He only had three dice, so he threw it all into attack for a money right. shot. Let's try. Oh, but I already got the points for him, so I have to kill him if I want anything else. You have to kill him. So uh, three more bloods on him will take kill him. And I won't be able to do that. And Batman's endurance is what? Eight. And, oh. and he has no damage yet. Yeah, there's not much point to doing that. Okay, I'll shoot. At Ron, two days out of retirement. Alright. Getting on. Defense two. So, one hit. One hit. Any movement? No, I guess you have to be acrobat. You have to be an acrobat. Mechanic. So, you put me on a three. A six, and a oh, non stop. So, he's knocked down. Takes. What's the damage? Three, well, two stun plus one for the crit. And, no, that's not that guy. The other guy's paralyzed. Two stuns, so... Poison and paralyzed. So he takes four stuns, so he's actually knocked right out. Sweet. I'll we'll get a point. Get a point. Uh, Ivy didn't spend a move, sorry, so she should have dropped her loop around here. Okay. Uh, other than that, I, you have Batman and then I have this guy. Alright, so Batman's gonna activate. It's gonna go right here. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna spend two dice to throw batarangs at Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Do I get a ping from Nightwing? Oh, you would, wouldn't you? I will not do that then. I should have shut my mouth. Shush. Shut your dirty mouth, boy. Shut my dirty whore mouth. Um, I'm gonna throw batarangs at Poison Ivy. Yeah, I really should not have said anything. What's your defense? Uh, four. Oh, but uh, defense dice doesn't count for range attacks, eh? No. Okay, so four. So I get one hit. Yep. Uh, strength three. <sighs> so I do not wound you. Oh god, because I would have knocked her out. Yeah, so he has one more set of batarangs. Alright. Uh, ugly plant here that I misplaced. Can't do anything, so. Alright, that's it. Ron's gonna. Oh, he's dead. Ron right, knocked out. So, recovery phase. Da, 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 da. We'll do Ivy. Oh, she rolled a six. So she recovers a stun. Yeah, so she's at three stun. Ron's gonna try to wake up. He's endurance four. He does not. Uh, Carl Winslow is gonna try to get up. He's endurance four. Ooh. He does again. God damn, Carl. Just Carl! You can't keep me down. Carl! Uh, anyone else? Nope. Creeper? Christ, nope. And Swamp A. Yeah, Swamp Thing. And then O'Connell's gonna try to recover a stun. He does not. And Nightwing will try to recover a stun. And he does not. Uh, for points, Batman did make it to the ammo, so I get three. So I'm up to seven. Alright, I made points just on. Uh, wait, so how does that contesting work though? You're within ten. If you have more models than I do, do you? Does, does plants contest? 
Because normally you'd have to be in base contact. In that, okay, each plant gives one victory point and becomes a casualty. All plants have a 10 centimeter action areas, uh, action area radio. In that radius, plants are able to hit and prevent enemy miniatures from controlling objectives. Oh, so I do not control that, so I am back to four. Sweet. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Good way to use them. Not so bad. Two kings my ass. Uh, where's the tape measure? Here. Uh, I think I'm just out. So I should have two then, instead of four. Because you're still... Normally, if you had a model in base contact with my objective, uh, it'd still be contested. So he was activated after... Yeah, but if you'd have known that, you probably would have put more attacks in that plant. So let... I think you should keep your points. Alright, we'll, we'll go from here out. I'm back to four, but shouldn't I shouldn't be getting points for that Titan either. So we kind of screwed up. Again, we're learning the game still, so you're probably going to see a lot of mistakes if you know the game better than us. Uh, just bear with us there. Hopefully we'll get better at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, we've got our recoveries. We've collected all of our points. It's your turn now. My turn to pick. I think it's just you left. Poison crew. Yeah! Poison crew goes. Is this the last turn? Uh, there's one more dice in here. Uh, two, two more dice in here. Oh. Two more turns. Alright. So right. we'll be back after we assign our dice. After these messages. Alright, so we're back. Second last turn. And Nick has the, the lead. Alright, Ivy will activate. Um, what's the willpower on him and him? On Batman? No, no, not Batman. I know you can re-roll. Like, there's no way I'm controlling him. Okay. Uh, the willpower on O'Connell is uh, five, and on Carl Winslow it's four. All right, let's try to. And how many dice do you have in? What do you? What dice do you have in O'Connell? What dice do you have in? O'Connell has three in attack, and Winslow has two in attack. Oh, well, let's roll the dice. Let's see if uh, we can control O'Connell with control. Fair. All right, so two d six. Yeah. Your willpower. My willpower's five. Ah, oh, God darn it. What? You got him. Oh, it's willpower five? Willpower five. Sweet. So he's mine now. So he's, for this turn, you own... So I can't control him now. Okay, so let's... We're going to move back one for the movement. Um, and then spend one for chlorokinesis. And then go here. And touch the loot. Nice. All right. So that's me. Alright, so my turn. Batman's gonna activate. Oh, sorry, no. Nightwing's gonna activate. It's gonna throw three attacks into Swamp Thing. Becomes four because of combo. Shit. Uh, so they all hit. Alright, one defense. Oop, oop, oop. four. Nope. Alright, so I wound you on fours because of tough skin. And my crit, it's a crit. Oh. So I do two, four, six, seven stuns. Okay, so I'm at six plus three, I'm at nine. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Uh, just like something in here. Let's just do the six. So two, I had already lost one, so nine, so seven, so I should lose three more dice. Oh no! You ruined everything! That's what I do, Nick. So much. Take two out of movement and one out of special. Alright. Alright. Agent. O'Connell will activate. Yeah. He'll move over to Nightwing and pounds a mass. That's very nice. Yeah, he'll pound Nightwing's ass. So, move over to him. Yeah, he'll go over actually here. Uh, roll his endurance roll for the poison. <laughs> this is going to be the worst. Oh, uh, uh, didn't he heal? Yeah, he yeah, healed. Yeah, he healed. Okay. He's yeah. alright, so never mind. So I got three to attack. Yeah. 
What's your defense? Five? Four? Uh, in Nightwing is four. Oh I'll shit! Hit. I have nothing. Great. So you have a mechanic gun, so you move me on threes. Oh. That, that's two stun. Enough to put me back down. Good. So Nightwing gets knocked out. Right here. Your turn. Rude. Um. Carl will activate. He's gonna. Carl. See if he's poisoned. He is. Uh, that's his last blood, so he's out. Oh. Sweet. And you get a victory point for him. For making him a casualty now. So you already got the one for knocked out. Yeah. Swamp Thing will activate and attack Nightwing, who's on the ground. So I'm going to hit on twos. Correct. Two hits. And wound on twos. Two strength two. And a crit. Nothing. So I guess those two will turn into blood. Yeah, so you do a blood and a stun normally. Yeah. So for each one of those hits, one stun turns into a blood. So each one will be two blood each. So I do four blood. You do four blood, that is enough to kill Nightwing. So you get an extra... An extra bunch of points. Sidekick. So you get two extra points for him. Kick him my ass, Nick. <laughs> two kings of Batman, my arse. <laughs> All right, your turn. But you gotta keep everything close together. Because as soon as you start putting plants all over the place, you're done. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll just go like this. I put three into attack, so I'm gonna attack this plant. Not creeper. The creeper. Uh, what's his defense? Uh, shit. Three. Jeepers. So two hits. Two hits. You put one in defense, looks like. Yeah, so you're attack five. Attack five. Nothing. I'm strength three, so I wound you on threes. And collateral is nothing. So I do two stun with reinforced gloves. What does that mean? Just two stun? Yeah. My weapon is called reinforced gloves, so it does two stun. Oh, okay. Uh, so I lose a die. Okay. That's everyone I can activate. Alright. Um, I don't think. Alright. He's your guy? Yeah. Well, for your turn, he's your guy. Yeah, but how many damage do you have on him now? You already activated him. You used him to kill my. Yeah, but I can still attack him. Right? Like, cause I oh, yeah, you can attack your own guys, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, well, my, my guy and your guy. Well, yeah. So I'll attack him. All right, so he's defense three. Oops. So oh, I'm handy, actually. No, that didn't matter at all. So one hit. And defense, uh, strength, uh, creeper's three. So you want me on three? No, strength four, so you me on fours. Nothing. Uh, roll your collateral anyways. Uh, if, it's, if it's the same, even if it doesn't hit, okay, never mind. Knock me down. Bang bang, she knocks me down. Alright. Um, and then shooting McPlanterson. Mm -hmm. We'll shoot at that guy too. So hitting on threes, got one. And one on three. Mechanic. And so an extra stun and a. What does it normally do for damage? Two uh, stun. So two stun would knock him out. And I think that's his first knockout, so you get a point for that. Uh, that's everyone I can activate. Well, he activates and does shit again. Yeah. So, recovery phase. And then I get a point for... Oh, recovery phase first. Yeah. Uh, so, see if Ron gets up. Nope. See if O'Connell gets up. Yep. Yeah. Stupid O'Connell. And then you collect your points. So you get one for your loot, I believe. Yeah, I got one over here. 
And you're still contesting me. Um, I'll recover Creeper. No, I won't. Ivy. No, I won't. Oh, Swamp Thing had a special. Do you mind if I use it? Yeah, for, go ahead. To regenerate. Um, two, and then he'll use his... Oh, and he recovers. He's at seven. That's it. All right. Uh, so, last turn. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder whose turn it is. Oh, oh it's Nick's. All right, we'll be back. It's your turn. All right, so we're back for the last round. Uh, it's me going first. So I will go first. Uh, Batman's gonna move. He's going right for Swamp Thing. Walk. Uh, he put four into attack. Christ, I'm losing Swamp Thing. Uh, so what's your defense on Swamp Thing? Uh, three. So I'm looking for threes. Oh no. So three hits. Is he handy? I'm not handy. That'd be OP. Uh, defense. What's your attack? Five. Fuck. Stop one. So I get two that go through. Oh. I'm strength three. Yeah, uh, minus one. Drop me by one, so I go up to uh, fours. Yeah. So oh, two, yeah, and my right. collateral is oh. another stun. So five stun total. Uh, seven plus five is eleven. That means big boy is down. Swamp Tang goes down. And he loses all his dice. No, his regen dice. He was going to green travel, you know. Alright, I see. So. He was going to get out of there. So he's a sidekick. He's a sidekick, so I do get two for that. Uh, so that bumps me up to six. I should get those counters instead of putting my guys down and chipping their paint. Yeah, for sure. It helps. And, like, technically, they're not supposed to be on their side because they still take up the space that they're in when they're oh, not down. Okay. Well, I can just keep... <laughs> Alright, really so we got a technical, minor technical difficulty. Um, what just happened if... I'll have to see where it cut out, but we're back in. Uh, Batman rushed up, uh, did enough damage to knock out Swamp Thing, so that's where he stays, and now it's over to Nick to go. All right. Um, yeah, so Creepster McCreeperson will again try to kill O'Connell. All right. I'll do three attack on O'Connell. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, and what's your defense? Three. We're handy. So I got three. Alright, I put one in defense. My attack is three. Stop one. My strength is four. One. Plus a crit. Or, well, uh, what do you call it? A collateral. Collateral. So what, how much damage you do to me? Because I have claws, it's one stun and one blood. Back. So he's knocked back out, <laughs> and what I had set up to do isn't going to happen. He's like, yeah, every turn he's like, I... <laughs> yeah, down he goes. Yeah. Um, um, so I have no one left to activate, so you can do everything you want now. Well, actually, he's out of ammo. Uh, he can't do shit. Ivy can spend one to pick up the loot, but then she can't really do crap anymore. Alright. So I think that's the end. Alright, so uh, final tally is 6 for me and a whole bunch for you. 6, 12, 16. 16. So good game, Nick. What do you think of Batman? Uh, I think it's pretty awesome, to be honest. It's got a lot of theme to it. Yeah, like it's a lot of fun. It's very narrative. And, uh, well, it is strategic, too. Yeah, but you gotta really sort of plan your steps ahead and know what your opponents do. I gotta be honest, a lot of it was reacting. I didn't yeah. really have a plan, because I was like, oh shit, as you can see, this guy ended up, but he was actually, you know what, he helped in the end, because he was able to teleport Ivy out of danger. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, no, I really enjoy it. Totally, uh, it's a fun little skirmish game, and I... It's uh, really quick. You told me, you like, you kept telling me to go pick up some guys, so I picked up my crew, five guys, was like, what, 80 bucks? There's 70, 80 bucks? Yeah, about that. And I painted them in the afternoon that I bought them. And then, yeah, so now I'm ready to play Batman. So I think that's pretty appealing. All right. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like if you like our new B-Side series, uh, let us know what you think. If you want us to keep doing them, uh, we're going to do it anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, damn bad. But... But at least let us know what you think of it, and uh, we'll see you in the next videos. All right, thanks.